I'm really excited to show you this WooCommerce plugin that's guaranteed to boost your sales. Now, I wouldn't be saying this if I didn't think it would. Now, I've fallen for these marketing tricks all the time. Countdown timers, extra discounts, discounts based on the products that you buy already. And if you buy that other product, you get an extra discount. So you're buying more because it gives you all those neat features that makes you buy more. So this plugin is called Merchant Pro. And like I said, it's going to help you sell more and it's super easy to implement. So let's get started with this video right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? Like I said, we are going to check out Merchant Pro. If you want to check it out, link we provided in the description. Now, just to show you really quickly at a glance, things that it includes because there's several modules based on this. And I'm going to show you the most popular ones on this video. So first of all, there's the modules that are boost revenue. So for example, frequently bought together. So this plugin gives you the ability to add different types of products that go along with it. So for example, if we're talking about a cream that's for the face, well, there's the cream, there's a lip balm, there's the foundation for your face, etc. because these are frequently bought together. Also, there's a buy X and get Y. So if you buy X, you get an extra discount on Y and it gives you that incentive to buy those volume discount. So obviously this is a really popular one. So if you buy over three products, you'll get an extra discount spending goals. This is really nice because if you are spending in that store, I don't know if you want to reach hundred dollars and you get something extra. Well, this is going to help you because you have a spending goal. And for that reason, you buy more. Like I said, we have fallen for these tricks all the time. Free gifts based on purchases, pre-order, increased conversion rates. So you got sticky add to cart, countdown timers. Countdown timers are really popular. You never know when it's really true or not in some of these stores. So you sometimes buy based on the, on the counter. So really cool tool. Stock scarcity. So again, saying that there's only five left when there's actually 100, it makes you think, you know what? I should buy this right now because it might be gone in a few days. So again, buy based on stock scarcity, waiting list, checkouts, recently reviewed products, advanced reviews, buy now, a lot of tools that go along with this. Reduce card abandonment and again, a bunch of tools, build trust with reasons to buy list, brand image, quick social links, trust badges, payment logos, improve user experience, size chart, product video. So improve what you have in WooCommerce even better. So wish list, variation watches, protect your store. So agree to terms and checkbox, cookie banner, and all that you're going to get with this plugin. So check out the link in the description. Now for the, I would say a little bit more boring stuff is showing you how this actually works on the site. So this is my demo WordPress site, and we're going to show you how it actually looks on the real site once we work and tweak these little settings that we have on Merchant Pro. So for example, this is a site that I have already. Let's go to home. Like I said, this is the demo site and you're going to see that some of these products will have a discount and we'll get extra stuff happening. So right now, let me take, for example, this one deep sweep. So let's go click on it. You got this. So save $12 and 60 cents. When you buy three, you get a discount of $4 and 20 cents each. Okay. So per item, total price. Then there's another module that's based, which is buy one, get one. So if you buy three, you get one of this with 20% off. So like it's incentivized you to buy more. Add to wish list, reasons to buy, some icons. If I go down here, frequently bought together, like I mentioned before. So if you buy these three products, which are commonly bought together, well, you add to cart and boom, you add them all at one time. So it's really useful, okay? and a lot of things that go along with this. Okay, so let's jump into the modules. The plugin is already installed. It's right here, Merchant, and you get right now there's 23 modules enabled, but there's more modules available. Okay, so for example, let me show you this animated add to cart. So right now this one is not enabled, but this is what I can do. I can add animation on hover or on page load based on what I select. So right now swing is selected. If I hover over the add to cart, it's swing. See that there? It swings. Let me go ahead and open up a product on my site. Let's go to another one. Let's go to this one. Okay, here's a simple one. I hover over cart, nothing happens. Okay, but if I go to Merchant Pro and I select, you know what? I want it to bounce, flash, uh, jello shake. Okay, let's use that one. Let's go ahead and save it. There we go. Let's go ahead and enable it. Here we go. It's enabled. Let's go to our store right here. Remember, nothing happens. Let's go ahead, go ahead and refresh it. And boom, if I hover over the cart, it makes that animation. So it's super easy to enable these and start working with them. 
let's go back into merchant let's go into a really nice one let's go into the countdown timer so let's go ahead and select this now countdown timer is enabled right now and i can go ahead and disable it if i like so right now what is it doing it's saying sales and sales ends in like it says right here such amount of time it could be evergreen or sell price date cool off period so it doesn't show all the time you can set the amount of minutes here minimum expiration deadline and maximum expiration deadline and the styling okay so this is going to be triggered on a sales product so for example this one this one doesn't have a sale so it's not triggered here there's no timer okay but let's go ahead and add a sale to this let's go into woocommerce oh products let's go ahead and find this product it's the eternal sunset so eternal sunset it's this one let's go ahead and quick edit Let's go ahead and it's right now $16, but let's add a sale price of $10. Let's go ahead and update it. There we go. Let's go ahead and refresh it. Remember, now there's a sale price and boom, we got a timer right here. So when I'm doing this products and I view there's a sale plus there's a timer, I'm like, oh, dang, this is going to be gone in one day. Then I'm going to have to pay $16 or maybe $14. So right now I can get it for $10 and I go ahead and buy it so you know that psychology it starts working and it gives you that fomo fear of missing out so you buy it right away so this is kind of, this is a really cool tool let's go back into merchant there we go let's go check out now the advanced reviews so the advanced reviews again we can we have that enabled and on the right we're going to be able to view the review style of this so instead of having that clunky nasty one from woocommerce there's a better looking one right here and we go ahead and edit this for example why people love our products the title tag would be h1 h2 a description for this or hide the title at all title and description alignment you got all the settings to tweak this to your liking and make it more customizable so for example if the stars are i don't know if your site is like the theme is red maybe the stars you want to make them red you don't want to make them yellow you have all those options there so let me see if this one has a review no this one hasn't so let me go ahead and find one that does okay here it is and here we go here's why people love our products and then we have one review here or two reviews here we go two reviews and you go ahead and write one right here with this tool so that's pretty nice right so again let's go back into merchant now let's check out for example there's a checkout choose from three different checkout layouts so you don't have to stick to the original one you can change layouts for example this is one of the layouts so there's shopify multi-step so people like that kind of style so you can enable that or one step everything in one single page you, you don't jump to another one like i've seen for example i don't know take for example amazon you jump into the cart and then you got to go into the next section and then you got to add the address and then go to the next section and that's the this will do a one step or multi-step check this out this is how you will view it or this one i think this one looks more modern but you decide what you like the most but it's super easy just enable it and select this and boom you have a different checkout okay go back into merchant okay and then you have for example another one that i like is the stock scarcity scarcity yeah that's how you say it so this one so for example you can make this hurry only 20 units left in stock so like i said it gives you that feeling that you need to buy it now because if you wait a week or two weeks it might be gone so for example settings placement on the product page so after add cart from or before add to cart show urgency box when variant inventory is below 50 text formatting text so that's what it says hurry 20 minutes you can set whatever you want here the style for this one so it's pretty nice right really really nice tool that's simple in a sense but it makes you sell more okay so let's go back let's go now to boost revenue so boosting revenue is you're already selling right but you want to sell more so this is a good tool to use. So for example, you can do pre-orders for some products. Buy X, get Y. So for example, this is a neat one. So for example, in this case, placement on a product page. Yes, after add to cart or before add to cart. Text formatting for this, the style settings. And to enable this, you're going to do it on the product page. So let me show you the example. So on this one, here's an example. You buy three and you're going to get a 20% discount on this other product. Okay. So you wouldn't be selling this other product if people just bought this. So for example, if you, if people just buy three of these, eh, they're happy, they're gone, boom. But what happens if you give them that extra discount? What, you know what, I'll buy these three plus that additional product because I'm gonna get that extra discount. So how did you enable that? Let's go into products. 
Okay, let's select this one. Let's go ahead and go into edit. Here we go. Let's scroll down here. Scroll down, scroll down. And you got your merchant product options. Okay. So for example, you have all these options available that are from the merchant options. So if you enable those over there, you'll have the options here. If you don't enable it, you'll see, you won't see those there. Okay. So for example, frequently bought together, I can go ahead and enable this on this particular product, which is this one. I can enable a new bundle. It could be percentage discount or fixed discount. So let's add a fixed discount. Discount value is going to be $5. Select the products included in this bundle. So let me go ahead and search for one of these and I'll do eternal sunset. Here we go. And let's go ahead and keep that there. Let's also add another one Buy X, get Y. So again, add the offer and it's going to be a fixed discount again. Customer, customer buys, for example, five products. Customer gets, here we go. We'll select the, the same one. Customer gets quantity one with discount value of five. Okay. There's also the free gifts. You want to add a free gift, spending base or coupon based volume discount. So for example, for the wholesales, this would be a good one. Percentage discount. Let's add that one for the quantity. So if it's 10 products, you'll get 10% off. Add a new tier. Oh, that's already added there. There you go. Reasons to buy. So again, add the reasons people should buy this. Remember, that's this one right here. Reasons to buy. Why? This one is 100 polyester, 100% recycled polymer, etc. You add your incentivizations. Product brand images, again, these right here. Size chart for different type of products. For example, I don't know, new size chart, choose size chart for clothing. This would be great. Product videos, product audio, and all that from here. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this, go ahead and update it. Here we go. Let's go ahead and view this product. Here we go. And now we have all of these options here. So, for example, if you buy 10 products, you'll get a 10% discount, which is equivalent to $1 in this case per item, $9 total price, 90 bucks. Okay. Then we also added this one. If you buy five of these, you'll get a second. We'll get this one actually selected the, the same one. Okay. In this case, I'll go ahead and fix that there. Get Y. We're going to choose another one. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and update it. This is great that I showed you that because you're going to see how it actually works. Okay. Let's go ahead and refresh it. Because the idea is to show a different product. There we go. So if you buy five of these, you're going to get this product for $5 less. In this case, I said the amount instead of percentage. So it incentivizes you to buy that other product, even if you didn't need it because you get that extra discount. So right now it's making me say, you know what? I'll buy five because I want to get the discount for that one because I might need it in the future. So boom, sell more. Okay. Let's go into merchant. So a lot of tools boost revenue, reduce card abandonment. So card count, fab icon, inactive tab messages, card reserve, reserve timer. For example, if I select that one. So if you have a cart right here, let's go and check it out. 10 minutes. It's enabled right now. Let's go into the cart. And here we go. Your card is saved for nine minutes and 52 seconds, which is the 10 minutes countdown that it's going to start. It's a pretty neat tool because you want to take care of that cell right now. You have these icons and settings for this particular module. Reduce card abandonment. So you have the side cart. So you saw that right now Adds products and it slides the cart on the right. I removed it right now, but let's go ahead and add another product. Let's go back into home. Let's add this to cart and we should get that slide. There we go. Boom. That's really nice because right now you can see what I've added to cart and I can say, you know what? I needed this one and I don't need that one. Okay, so I can just go ahead and remove it from here. Go to checkout or view cart from here. Really nice tool. Go back to merchant. So now let's jump into the build trust. So you got your payment logos. You want to build trust saying that you accept a certain type of cards. For example, in this case, select logos. You can go ahead, go ahead and add them there. So for example, if you're for a different country that has different type of merchants, for example, uh, I think it's WeChat for China, for example, go ahead and add them right here with the payment logos there. Okay. You can set the alignment logos to the left, center or right. The text that you want to add to it, the font size, margins, top, etc. Really nice way to say, you know what? It's safe to pay with your payments right here. Here we go. Build trust. There's also the reasons to buy list. You saw that already here. Reasons to buy list. There's a quick social links, trust badges, product brand images, etc. All from build trust so specific to that particular improvement. 
You got your improved experience, for example, auto external links. So you don't have to do that manual. Scroll to the top, so a little icon that's going to scroll to the top, really easy to use with this. Product videos, variations, swatches. That's for um, sizes. This is really good. Size chart, login pop up, real time search, code snippets, things that make the user experience better with this improvements. Okay. And then you got protect store, agreed to terms, checkbox, and cookie banner. So you're going to get all of this with Merchant Pro. Like I said, this is guaranteed to boost your sales in your store. So basically, it's just about bringing clients to your store and having them buy a product. And with these incentivizations, you're going to have them buy more because you got discounts, you got extra features, you got your the one that I like. It's the reach, the amount of spending, the spending discount goals. I think that's a, a really great one. So buy X, get Y is my favorite spending discount goes the stock scarcity countdown timer. It's like those are the must haves for the store to sell more and all these rest of tools are going to help you. So you decide what you want to enable and disable to start selling more. So don't forget to check out Merchant Pro here in the link in the description. And that's a wrap for Merchant Pro. See you later.